What's going on guys? My name is Chris. Welcome to another Dark Souls video. We're going to start right away here. I'm obviously going down into the depths. I decided to jump over and give this uh, butcher lady, and from what I hear it is a lady, uh, a nice shock in her. Of course her dog tries to wreak all sorts of havoc on me, but I actually get the best out of both of them in this fight. Usually when I jump down there I end up getting smacked around a little bit, but I actually jumped down there, hit her once, backstabbed her, kicked the living shit out of that dog real quick. They didn't even know what hit them. And the other dog is just staring on. So I'm going to grab the ember that's quite vital to our success. At least later on the lightning weapon. Turns out the, the one lightning weapon I'm going to decide to get turns out to be pretty powerful. Um, my recordings right now I'm up to I'm up to the uh, Anna Orlando fights. So I'm going to leave the um, results of what I've done so far to uh to remain to be seen so I'm not gonna spoil anything but that's where I'm up at the recording so you can plus I mean I'm sure most of you figure that much anyway um, getting up to that point of the game with pretty much anything is not what you would call super super hard I mean shit you could probably do it blindfold if you played enough <laughs> it's not really that tough I skip over here and before I take on the gaping dragon I decided to go save this dude because I figured at some point, I might decide to use the uh, Pyromancy Glove for like power, power Within or something like that. Just in case I need a real DPS boost at the expense of some health. Back in my other runs, when I do like no heal, no bonfire, stuff like that, Power Within is really just not a feasible option. Just because, well, I mean, for obvious reasons, but here when I can actually heal, seems like a pretty safe bet that I might be able to use it at some point and take advantage of that extra, what, 40% boost or whatever it gives to damage. So I thought that would be a good idea. Uh, I'll, I, I won't spoil whether or not I've used it. You'll just have to wait and see. So we rescued this guy. I'll get my glove later. I could also have gotten the glove from whatever that dude's name is down uh, with the uh, Quelag sister. Yeah. But I was also worried that I was going to need power with him for Quelag. So I decided to pick it up just in case. And um, this dude has caused me all sorts of trouble when I don't take him out prior to uh, killing the Gaben Dragon, especially when I'm handicapping myself the way I am on this upcoming Gaben Dragon fight. The boss himself is a joke. Always has been. Once you learn his stuff, always will be. But fighting him with soul arrows raining down on me? No thanks. Although I have beat him like that in a no heal, no bonfire, soul level 1 run. I just kept him far enough away to where he couldn't target me. And even when he did, he... Um, for some reason he was hitting like the overhanging pillar in front of him and he wasn't hitting me so I looked out that time. I tried it again like after that in a different playthrough and he wrecked me. So I don't know, I don't leave him alone anymore. He gets the full he gets the full wrath. It's his fault, man. If you just wouldn't shoot me, I wouldn't have to kill him. It's simple, man. I think we're coming up to the boss fight right here. No, we got a little bit more to go. I wanted to uh, get Kirk's humanity and stuff like that. So I decided to spawn him in. This is a kind of a horrible Kirk fight. I get slapped around a little bit, but I'm not really all that caring about um, whether or not he hurts me at all. I don't give a shit. He can't do enough damage to really do anything, so... I start smacking him around a little bit. Eventually, he's going to stop with this song and dance, and I'm going to kick his ass. It's taking me long enough, isn't it? Then again, I'm limiting myself to uh, the starting weapon. Which, broadsword is not a horrible weapon, but it sure as hell ain't one of the best, so. Pick up his humanity. I might need it later on. Um, one of the weapons. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the boss fight. So. I really enjoy fighting this boss, even though it's really easy. I just like the thought of fighting something this huge. I actually sped up the footage for this boss fight to fit the song. Uh, just a little bit so it'll it'll appear just slightly faster than it normally is but I'm sure actually nobody will complain about that due to the uh, nature look at that whiff due to the nature of the boss fight and how long it usually lasts I wanted to get that tail cut off ASAP because of well for that exact reason right there so I'm gonna be doing my best to get that cut off and then from there on it's pretty much just an exercise in patience to hit that head of his as you can see, I can only get in one really good swing before I got to back away, even if I get in as fast as possible. So I don't want to play around with it too much because if you get trampled there, look at this shit. I can, I'm like having to time my swings now. 
I think one more pass and I'll be able to get that tail off, so. He seems to be nice. He seems to be coming down uh, pretty often instead of like chasing me around the room like he usually seems to do every time I every time I try to record. He'll just I've had that guy do laps like five or six laps straight around the um, arena just to chase me. As you can see, I like slowed down and actually like timed it right there. Wow, it takes another pass. I'm just bombing this shit. Oh wait, he's going for his walk. What I didn't know, um, actually I learned it from a previous video, I think one of Vegeta's videos, I think so, where you can actually kind of slow his walking down by walking forward, baiting him into an attack, and then rolling out of the way, and then he'll stop doing um, walking around the room so much. I didn't know that before, but as you can see, I'm going to time my swing here, and I believe I knock it off. There we go, yeah. You got that bitch. He's going to turn around, I believe he always slams down as soon as you cut off his tail. I've never had him not do it. So, no, we still got it quite a ways to go, even with the footage slightly sped up. So it's a good thing I did that, because otherwise this fight will take forever. So basically from this point on, it's going to be me dodging him, hitting him in his face when I can, waiting for him to run around, and then, you know, hitting him in the ass twice or three times, however many I feel like I can get away with. I don't think I ever get two shots in on his head because I'm so afraid of getting trampled. Uh, after that, so I think I'd play it safe. I'm not sure if he would kill me, but I'm pretty sure it would do a lot more damage than I'm comfortable with. I've set what I what feels to be a pretty good uh, guideline of like, I think when in and Orlando, I think I'm capping myself at at 30 vitality and 30 uh, endurance. This guy, this guy starts turning into a frog here. He hippity hops like all the fucking all around this arena. But uh, I think I'm limiting myself to something like, look at this shit, 30 vitality and 30 endurance. It doesn't seem to be overkill. It seems to be in the realistic range of what somebody would have. So if I need to improve it or increase it even more, maybe I will. One of the big fights I'm worried about is four kings. It terrifies me. I'm just not sure I'm going to get the DPS out prior to, I can tank them, sure, but I'm not sure I'm going to get the DPS out prior to... Uh, other kings getting in and just fucking my shit up and I'm trying not to go above like 10 flasks I don't really want to have 20 flasks and go overkill because at that point it might stop turning into skill and turning into just a battle of tanking hits healing and then powering straight through it which takes away from the fun a little bit we don't have much longer to go can't quite see his health bar here but should be ending with a couple more passes I can get a couple hits on his ass right here I believe Two, maybe three if I'm smart about it. Although I don't think I ever am. Okay, there we go. We got three. Look at that gimped tail swing. See? Having a gimped weapon ain't so ain't so good as it asshole. Now you know how it feels. Look at this dude. What are you doing, man? It's like phantom... It's just a time waster right here. It's like that. those people have phantom pains. He's like, I'm going to swing my tail that I don't have anymore. Smart move. But we're going up in the knockout blow right about now. And... There she goes. I like that boss. Easy or not. So, after that, I think most of the rest of the video, uh, I'm going to... Let's see, first of all, I'm going to pick up this glove while I'm at it. And I believe I... Oh yeah, I, I remember what I what I included at the end of this video. My fire weapon, like I, I don't think I've said before, but my fire weapon is going to be the demon's great, the demon's great hammer or whatever. So right now I'm um, going up to Snuggly. And I'm going to drop the sack that I picked up from the um, the butcher woman and uh, trade that bitch in for the um, for the demon's great hammer. That weapon, I'm actually later on I'll be taking to chaos plus whatever I can get it to, because it does a lot more fire damage so I figured I might as well keep it around for um because it, yeah, it does more fire damage than physical damage which is really good to have around and I'm not getting any physical damage out of the weapons anyway so or basically none so it um it seems to be the right route to take plus if I keep uh, 10 humanity stocked up it does quite a bit more damage it's really impressive these guys are being dicks so I'm actually going to epic fail up here pretty soon. As soon as I get down to where the uh, blacksmith is supposed to be. Epic fail. I got a little too greedy. These guys are being dicks too. Look at this shit. 
Like, let me buy, man. All I want to do is shop in peace. All I want to do is upgrade. Upgrade in peace. I don't know if my screen just went to screensavers. So I don't know if that didn't record, but we'll see. So, right here, you all, you can roll off to the right, uh, which is what I usually do. They were giving me some trouble, but, you know, I got it. So, Patch is going to turn the bridge for you, too. Uh, I think he does, automatically. I think right about here I realized that he was doing it, so I turned around. And then, um, this is a pretty easy jump to make, just... Patches doesn't exactly turn the bridge again very quickly, so you can quickly switch, run over, change the camera, and just jump right there. That's what I usually do. Pick up the Great Scythe. I'm not going to use it, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pack rat. I like to have stuff, but epic fail time. Here we come, right up here. I was like, I want to get rid of this guy so the skeletons die. I got aggressive and took a very, very long fall, so very stupid, but I th he died anyway. I don't know how. I guess he fell, but... Um, when I came back, his skeletons perma-died, so it's cool with it. So as you can see, cutscene, so this is the first time I'm coming in here. And from here on out, I'm basically just upgrading that hammer to plus five fire, because I have the green titanite charge to do that. And while I'm at it, I believe I upgrade my broadsword to the fire route. Although, to be honest with you, having a broadsword fire plus five really doesn't mean shit. I'm getting to the point where my regular weapons aren't doing enough damage. Well, I will be getting to that point where my yeah, unupgraded sword isn't going to be doing jack shit so much. But fire plus 5 is better than... Actually, it probably isn't better than plus 10. But whatever. Like I said, basically I'm getting to the point where I'm just going to start using my gimped weapons just to kill shit normally. Because the elemental damage is just so much higher than what my sword can put out. And I'm being lazy about upgrading it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.